Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create realistic hair or fur in Maya using XGen. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I want to go to my poly modeling and I'll create a sphere. So this is going to be the object that has the fur. And I want to scale this up because Maya works with centimeters, so does XGen, and you want to make sure that this object is large enough so the hair looks a little more realistic. If this was scaled down, the hair would be way too big and it wouldn't look nice. So let's go ahead and scale this up. I'm gonna scale it up to about probably 10 centimeters just to keep it nice and even. And let's go ahead and add the hair. So I'll go to the XGen tab. If you don't see this, go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager, and search XGen. And you wanna make sure this XGen toolkit is loaded. All right, with the object selected, I want to click this box with the X and create a new description. You can name this whatever. Basically what the description name is, it's referring to the overall category. So if you have human hair, you might just name this human or hair. And then the collection would be the type of hair on that person. So maybe you're working on a beard you would name this beard, or maybe you're working on eyebrows or a mustache. So that's what you would put there. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these as is and leave the settings and uh, click create. So as you can see, we get all of these little hairs. However, there is not enough to create realistic fur. So I just wanna increase the density, which is in this primitives tab and density. I wanna increase this to about 100. So now you can see we get a lot more. You can see that there's not hair down here, which means that basically XGen only updates what is visible in the viewport. So we didn't have that visible, so it didn't update that. But if I was to scale out and click update the XGen preview, it would update that. So that's looking nice, however, you can see that the hair doesn't really have any point. It's not tapered, so we wanna fix that. Realistically, hair is going to have a taper. So we'll scroll down over here to taper, and I'll give this one. So now it's more pointy, and it looks a little bit better. Cool, and you can see that it didn't populate on this side because we were zoomed in on this side. So that's not what was visible in the viewport. Simply just go up here, click this again if you wanna see all of it populate on the sphere. You can also check this box, update preview automatically. Cool. Now we want to give this a little bit more randomness. It's too uniform right now. So I'll go to modifiers, click this icon with the plus, and click noise, click okay. And now it's a little bit more random. They're not facing all the same direction. And you can change the intensity of this by cranking up the magnitude. I'm gonna give this about three, give it a little bit more magnitude. And maybe I want the length to be different. So you can see that everything's kind of uniform length. So we can always change the length right here, but that is making it a little too uniform. So if I just simply change the length right here, it'll change the length of all of them the same. Maybe I want to change the length randomly. There's an expression box right here that I can click. So I'll click this. I want to delete this part of the expression and I want to type in rand. Parentheses, negative one, one. This is just the range of randomness that will be implemented into the length. So let me click accept and see what that looks like. So you can see we have a little bit more randomness, but it's not as visible. So I might want to change this value right here. So I'll change this to like five. And now you can see there seems to be a little bit more randomness and it looks a lot more like fur. Cool. Now we want to change the actual color. Maybe we want to change this to like a pink or a blue. 
To do that, we'll go over here and click this drop down. We want to select description. And then we'll go over here to the attribute editor. Right now we're in XGen. So you can switch back and forth between these two tabs. I want to be in the attribute editor and choose hair physical shader. And then I can simply change the color right here in the root and tip color. So I'll change this to a pink. And then the tip color, I'll make it a little bit lighter. And then I'll make sure I change the secondary highlight color, something a little bit lighter as well, and the glint color. And that should be looking good. Let's go ahead and render this. I need to first put a light in my scene. So I'll go to Arnold Lights, Sky Dome Light, and let's see what we get. Let me refresh this. So as you can see, there's no fur. I'm actually glad this is happening. There's no fur being rendered. And you can see this error down here saying no collection name given. So what this is saying is we don't have the scene saved. So we need to save the scene so Maya can render out the actual fur. And to do that, we'll just go to file. I want to set my project. So if I wanna come back to this, all of the folders will be populated and we'll have a nice project with all of our different folders. So I'll just select project window. I want to do a new project and then I'll just name this hair three. I already had hair two. I'll just name this hair three, but you can name it whatever you want. And it will populate all of these different folders, which we need. And then I'll click accept. And then I'll go back to file, set project, and then I want to find my folder, which is hair three. I'll click the folder, click set, and there we go. Now the project is set. We have all of those folders. And when we go to file and save scene as, it will save in the scenes folder. So you have all these different folders that you can save anything in. So I'll just save this under scenes and call it hair. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and see if we can render now. I'm going to refresh. And you can see that we are able to render. So it looks pretty good. You can always make adjustments. Like I might adjust the width a little bit more, or I might adjust the magnitude of the noise a little bit more. And I want to give this a nice render. So I'll add a ground plane. I'm going to scale it up and then I'll just drag this below the ball, scale this up a little bit more. I'm going to click the outer edges and drag these up and then press three to smooth. So we get like a nice backdrop. And then I might want to add a spotlight to our scene. So I'll go to rendering spotlight just to give it a nice extra layer of light and maybe a nice shadow. So I'll look through the spotlight, go to panels, look through selected. And then I want this to be on top. And then I'll crank the intensity up since we're working with a large scene scale. And then give this cone angle a little bit more so it has a nice spread. And then increase the penumbra angle so the shadow is soft. Then I'll go back to my perspective view and I'll render this out, see what we have. Doesn't look horrible. I still need a little bit more light. I think this is not enough light. Do like 10,000 or a thousand. And I might make this a little bit lighter, this backdrop, maybe like white. And let's try and render this again. Cool. And we can also change the actual material of the sphere. So right now it's just gray, so I can assign a new material. Assign new material, new material. And then go to Arnold shader and I'll do an AI standard surface. And I'll just make this the same color as the fur. So we're not seeing that gray. And I still want this light to be a little more intense. 
All right, now let's see what we get. I might need to move the light itself a little bit closer. And let's see what we get. Yeah, that's looking nice. I like the little highlights we're getting at the top. So that's how you create fur pretty quickly in Maya. I'm not gonna make this video too long. And I mean, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. I will be sure to answer all of them if I can. And I will see you guys in the next one.